Hello everybody, make sure to stick around. A couple more packages came in today and one of these are a very big treat, so make sure you watch the whole episode. Hello and welcome everybody to the channel. My name is Zachary and I'm with the Jedi Stormtrooper. Today we had a couple of packages in here. So starting off, we're going to be doing a little bit of a smaller box. I already have my gloves on and ready to unbox. And then later on, so make sure that you stay for the whole episode. We will have a treat for everybody, something that you don't see just every day. So moving on over, we will actually start to unbox this one. This box is a little bit bigger for what's inside of there. And so popping this open carefully. I know it doesn't sound too carefully with how loud it's popping, but they did use a lot of tape on side of it. So first off, looking inside of here, there's a lot of newspaper covering everything. Moving everything. And let's get this box out of the way now that we have our actual figures inside of here. And first off, it is taped all the way around, so carefully cutting through here. We will see what we have inside. And they actually wrapped this very well. There's multiple layers of bubble wrap going around each other. And inside they do have it in a UV bag instead of just a standard Ziploc bag that you get from a grocery store or anything like that. These are our Imperial Commanders. These were mostly bought as a double because they were both accessoried. And these are the Imperial Blasters. And so we get two of them for not much compared to the weapon price. Normal weapons individually, they cost more than the whole figure to themselves. So that was a very good find. And we're going to put one of those on our Boba Fett that we saw in episode one. And moving on to the figures. There are two of these identical figures. One does have tighter limbs than the other. The right one here has tighter limbs. And when you hold these side by side, the only difference that I mostly see in these are the faces. This one has a lot lighter of a face and it looks like it has a small scratch on the left hand side of it. While the other figure has a little bit of damage to the helmet, but the face is pristine along with the legs are pristine. This one is a lot shinier than the right hand side one. And looking at their emblems, that's one thing that seems to rub off or get scratched, but it seems to be fine. There's a little bit of hair on there. Let me get it off real quick. And moving on to the backs of them, let's flip them both around so we can do a side by side comparison. Honestly, on the backs, I don't see anything too damaging about them, other than that just this one is duller all the way around. It looks like the shine coat on it is just got rubbed off over the years, or it was exposed to the air for a long time and caused that to happen. In the end, we will definitely be keeping this one in our collection over this one. Even though it does have the slight rub on the helmet, the figure itself is just in a lot better condition than the other one. So we're going to go ahead and set these to the side real quick with their weapons and move on over to our other package. And what we have inside of here, I'm actually going to cover it up so you can't see the name of it because I don't want y'all seeing too early what we actually have inside. Cutting the tape across and let's see what we have. Okay. All right, so hopefully this figure was packaged very well because it's probably gonna be my favorite one inside of here. And carefully taking this apart, we see that he definitely has a big bubble of packaging. What is this? Oh, just a big bubble wrap, literally. That's good for stuffing, for sure. 
and then he also bubble wrapped the figure so i'm already super happy seeing how well this is packaged clearly the person who owned this knew what he had and how these figures can get damaged during transits as well as he had it only sealed in plastic so no ziploc bags to leave any film or anything like that whoever took care of this took very good care of this as you are about to see now and once again it is inside of a uv bag to protect it these are the bags that i use actually they are a little bit this one's a little bit smaller than the one i personally use and let's peel this open. These are self-sealing bags to help protect your figures without having to use any of the snap lock that can have them fall out or anything like that. So here we have the R2 from 1977. This sticker is actually paper and these are very hard to keep clean because of it being paper. It just gets old, gets rubbed off, and when kids play with this, that's the first thing to go. The head clicks on the inside of it those are another thing that as kids just spin the head it causes it to wear down inside of there and so it begins to stop clicking and the legs are solid not much scratching on them there is a little small scratch on the sticker right there that's where the from the leg going up and down constantly scratching along it the other side luckily does not have any dinge or anything on it this figure you just don't see in this pristine of quality. This is one of the best figures I have ever seen of the R2 so far. And so we couldn't let it pass up on it. We had to make sure that we got it for our collection. This one definitely won't be resold because of how good it is. You just don't see these anywhere on the market. Thank you for watching everybody and I hope that you did enjoy the R2-D2 and the couple Imperial Commanders. Mainly one of them is the weapon is going to go over to our Boba Fett from the last episode that we can resell it for a little bit higher because the Boba Fett in our collection is already in better condition than that figure that we saw. So I hope that everybody enjoyed it. If you are new here or if you haven't subscribed or liked, please go leave a subscribe and like for the channel. If you have any comments, please leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to reply to all of them or as many as that I can. So everybody, I hope you all have a great time and see you all next time.